Hey Paula Dean, I'm Lisa Marie McGillberry from Mountain Brook, Alabama, and today I know I've got the winner. I am making a million dollar pie. It is my mom's amazing recipe that I've kind of tweaked a little to make it my own, but I mean, I, I promise you it's the best thing you've ever put in your mouth. Um, I've already started um, mixing two uh, blocks of cream cheese with one can of sweetened condensed milk, and I'm going to add some six tablespoons of lemon juice to that and I am going to mix that a little bit more make it good and creamy then, again this is a super fast uh, recipe to make it does have to stay in the refrigerator from I'd say two hours and sometimes I make it in a I put it in overnight. I mean, overnight is definitely the best for all the ingredients soak into the crust. Mmm, the graham cracker crust, delicious. But today, I just got back from church. I'm going to whip it up real quick. I'm going to put it in the refrigerator, and we have a lot of friends coming over for Memorial Day, and I am serving a lot of Philadelphia cream cheese. I'm going to serve this million dollar pie. I'm going to serve my um, chocolate chip cookie cream cheese squares and I made some cupcakes. I made some cupcakes with cream cheese. Um, so we're going to have a lot of Philadelphia cream cheese to share with everyone. Okay, so to this mixture I add one can, I think it's 20 ounces of pineapple, crushed pineapple, and I drained it really well and I saved that juice for later. I may use that for something else. So it's one can of the crushed pineapple and one cup of pecans, sprinkle those in. And I used to, oh, I used to buy the whole pecans and I, you know, chop up little pieces. But now I just buy them already chopped up. Much easier, much quicker. So you can look at that mixture. It is so delicious. So I mix that up real well. Got all the pecans in there. And all right, that looks great. And next, I'm going to fold in, I mean, the last thing I do is so I'm just going to fold in two containers of Cool Whip. Yum E. My kids love this dessert so much. And when I was growing up, we used to beg my mom to make it all the time. And I always thought, you know, she called it a million dollar pie because she thought it was a million dollars to make. But I think, now I think it's just because it tastes like a million dollars. So. We fold that in a little bit. We'll go ahead and get the other one out because we don't want to over mix it. Look, my kids stuck their fingers in it. Um, <laughs> they were clean, I assure you. Or I think they were. Anyway, they're going to be the ones who's eating it with our friends, so it doesn't really matter. All right, I'm going to fold this in. Mmm, it smells so delicious. Okay, and I've got two graham cracker crust over here, and I actually get the larger ones, the ones that have the two extra servings, because my mom used to let me have this for breakfast sometimes. So if we have any leftover, we are all going to have a, a little piece for breakfast. And I'm telling you what, with a little coffee, it's the best thing ever. Make sure you get the cream cheese all mixed up with the Cool Whip really well. Okay, so I pour half in this one and half in the other one. Oh my gosh, look at that. Oh, I'm sure nobody else has this recipe. Mm -hmm. Delicious. Okay, so I'm just going to mix that around and if you want to, you can decorate it later with some more Cool Whip, but I'm going to put these in the refrigerator for two hours and come back and slice it and have a bite. Okay, see you in a couple hours. Hey Paula, we're back and we're taking the million dollar pot out of the refrigerator and we're going to give it a slice. Actually, I put a little lemon zest on top. Oh my goodness, it makes it look so pretty. Oh, there you go, look at that. So gorgeous. All right, and I'm going to have a little slice. We are getting ready for our Memorial Day party right now. 
Go. Okay, and I'm just going to have a little piece before everybody gets here. Just a little slice to make sure I get enough. It's been in the refrigerator about three hours, and you can leave it overnight, um, but this is perfect. Mm. Mm. Reminds me of being a kid again. Thanks so much, Philadelphia Cream Cheese and Paula Dean. See you soon.